Hey everyone, and this is Squash Lemon here, and we're doing another video of Fallout 1 Blind. So basically I reloaded, and then I went down to floor 2. So let's just get right into it. And I want to open that locker, and tons of shit. Loving it. Oh yeah, by the way, um, I talked to the doctor off screen, and she cured my radiation, so there you go. And, oh, also, one more thing I found interesting. If you talk to the doctor, if you guys remember from playing Fallout Vegas, there was that one doctor who increased all of your stats. Well, uh, this doctor increases your stats by one. Unfortunately, it's like 5,000 for each one. So, clearly it's going to take some time for me to get to that stage. And I just spent a shit ton of money on those books, too. So it's kind of like, eh. So pretty much I'm going to be waiting a while for that to happen. But yeah, I got rid of my radiation. Maybe this one will get rid of my addiction. No, okay. So my radiation's gone. That's all good. I'm happy about that. God, there's a lot of shit to explore. Look at all these lockers. I think I'm probably just going to be stealing... Oh, it's locked. What about this one? Okay, that one's not locked. Cool. Open locker, and nothing, and open locker, and nothing, uh, open locker, ooh, ammo, nice, uh, open locker, more ammo, nice, and anything else in here, it looks like just a shower slash bathroom, what is so important about that one that is locked, I want to find out. Because, you know, usually when things are locked, it's like... Hey, I unlocked it. Awesome. Okay, what the fuck is in here that's so special? Why was that one locked and that other one wasn't? Is it just like it was accidentally meant to have both of them locked and for some reason only that one was? Is that what the deal is? Because, quite literally, I'm not finding anything else particularly amazing. Um. Alright. So, we got one more to check out. Actually, two more. What am I saying? Of course, this one's locked as well. Well, we know what to do with that. I was unable to pick the lock. There we go. Open the door. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, more ammo. Nice. And I'm assuming this probably has ammo or a knife. Yeah, more ammo. That's fine. I mean, you can't go wrong when you can just sell this stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's also locked. They're always locked. That's why we have a lockpick skill of 75%. And there we go. The door is open. Let's open that up. And checking the first locker. I'm just going to be checking all of them. I think it doesn't really matter to me. I mean, more than likely, the lockers aren't going to have anything, and it's going to be the foot lockers that actually have things in them, because that's the way it's been. And I'm probably just going to keep getting magnum ammo and what looks to be like minigun ammo. So, that's fine. Alright, so this is level 2, and pretty much the only thing we could find was ammo and what looked to be some, you know, supplies and, um, you know, just kind of whatever stuff. I'm not really interested. So, let's go to floor 3 then of the Brotherhood. Alright, what is in this place? It looks kind of the exact same way as the other one. No, wait, what am I saying? It looks like we have like a... An armor shop there. I'm interested with that one. Hold on, let me see what's in here. Alright, is there anything in here that's kind of worth checking out? Maybe not. Maybe not. Um. So, maybe in here there's something interesting? Uh, talk to you. Ah, so you're the newest initiate. Uh, welcome aboard. What can I do for you? Who are you? What do you do here? I'm Paul, uh, head of the Energy Weapons Development. Any chance I can get one? 
uh, you would have to see Michael to be issued a weapon, and he can't authorize uh, you for one, though. For that would be have to see Tallis. Okay. Maybe he sells stuff? No. Uh, do you have a water ship? A water ship? The ones from the old vault tech ones? Yes, do you have one? Uh, no, those things were junk. They were prone to failure. Uh, we don't deal with purifying our own water here. We have water delivered by caravans. Uh, okay. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, what's in here? Nothing. Probably nothing. I'm guessing these all have nothing in them. And nothing. And nothing. And more nothing. And we're just gonna talk to this guy. Oh, it's a workbench. Uh, nothing in there. Talk to this dude. Who are you? Uh, the Moinker's Kyle? I've never get a myth before? What? What's that supposed to mean? Uh, nothing. It's just that no one has ever made it back to the Ancient Order. Uh, what? Then why did they send me down there? <laughs> I guess they just wanted to get rid of you, huh? Well, the joke's on them. Uh, well, the only reason I joined them was to get some power armor. Uh, yeah. Say, what do you do here? I fix stuff. Run maintenance checks. That sort of crap. Um, could you fix a water chip? I don't think so. Don't even know what what is. Um... Kind of weak mechanic are you? You can't even fix a water chip. How can I get some power armor without studying for a hundred years? Uh, I'd give you some power armor right here, but it's missing a systematic motivator. It's useless without it. Uh, where can I find one of these? Um, well, they've got some. They've got more than enough in the supply room, but Michael and his damn form say that the particular suit isn't up to specs. Damn bureaucrats! Bureaucrats. What do you mean not up to specs? Uh, you see the eyepiece right here? I had to re-solder it in place, and it doesn't look as pretty as it needs to for inspection, I guess. So if I bought you a specific, uh, you could fix it for me. Uh, whoa, wait a minute there, fella. Uh, that would take a good couple of hours. Uh, I'd loan you a manual and my tools, but you'd have to repair it yourself. Uh, that's fair. I'll be back. All right. So, I got one more locker to check, and then I'm gonna go to the other places. Nothing in there. Alright, well, let's see. What else is there I can really look at? I mean, this doesn't look important. It just looks like soldiers' rooms. And uh, maybe I could, like, s find some stuff to sell from in there, but I don't know. I don't really know if it's even worth looking in. Especially since the ammo in this game doesn't seem to be worth that much. Not that it was worth all that much in Vegas and Fallout, but, you know. Okay, that one's locked. That's a good sign. That one's locked as well. Well, let me just try to lockpick. Uh, you unlock the locker. Alright, let's check it out. And... Ooh, a super stim pack. Alright, that's not bad at all. And let's do that one. Uh, you failed to unlock the locker. Okay. No, not steal. Lockpick. I failed to unlock the locker. Let's try this one. Uh, okay. I'm just gonna try one more time. Oh, cool. I unlocked it that time. And, ooh, nice. Deagle and some stim pack. And lockpick. Let's try this one one more time. One more time for good measure. Uh, one more time. Uh, oh, right, cool, there we go. And there's nothing at all. Alright, well, whatever. I'm, I'm not going to bother looking through these. There might be another Desert Eagle or something, but other than that, I just don't really see the point. It's not worth as much as uh, the trouble of me going through to get it, so fuck it, I don't really care. On to the fourth floor, and the fourth floor is supposed to be the one with um, the Brotherhood of Steel's actual leader. And, of course, now I see a locker that I want to get into. So, I cannot get in here. Come on. Okay, let's go and see what is in that locker. Locker, locker, locker. And 
and there is absolutely fucking nothing. Man, they really don't like to give you shit, do they? By the way, is anybody excited for Skyrim? I mean, just as a general question, we're talking about an RPG-style game, and I don't know if Bethesda didn't make this game in particular, but Bethesda did make Fallout 3 in Vegas, and I'm just curious if anybody's excited for uh, Skyrim to come out. I, I mean, I guess I'm freaking ecstatic. I mean, I've been watching videos for it for a while now, and I'm just like, you know, oh, when's it going to come out? I'm all excited. By the way, it's been a while since I saved, and you know how this game does. You need to save constantly, or you're just going to die. Alright, what is in here? Who are you? Uh, hello, youngster. Cabot said you wanted to talk. Look, I'm, uh, I'm pretty stacked up right now, so I'll, uh, I'll help you out as long as you don't start flapping your gums too much. You know, outsiders are like that, always jawing. <laughs> Kinda like me, huh? God, I mean, okay, so in terms of animals, what would I see you as? Uh, I see you more of as a raisin than an animal. But, um, I don't know, maybe a billy goat? He doesn't have a beard. He does have kind of like an ugly looking growth on his face and a little scar. Uh, I don't know, maybe the rhino? Um, yeah, it looks like something, I don't know. Uh, do you have any clues? He looks like an owl. That's what he looks like. Fucking owl. Do you have any clues as to what is behind the disappearance of the caravans? When we heard about the missing caravans, we sent out a few scouts east and north. The ones that went north never returned. One came back from the east. He talked about a score of strange beings, all muscled with burning eyes. The elders aren't doing squat, but I'm getting ready just the same. I'm assuming that's probably uh, the group that I was just at, Unity or whatever. Um, how do you know that your scouts didn't desert? Uh, I believe I have run into these creatures. You're describing that they are not taken lightly. Then you understand the problem. To survive, we need someone who knows the outside. Like you. Okay. Um, I'll scout out the area to the north and then report what I find. Good. Anything else you need to ask? Would it be possible for me to get a hold of some better weapons? Then I suggest you talk to my assistant, Mathia, about that. Oh, cool. Here we go. Um, so... Uh... Huh. Well... Um... I either want the Ripper Blade... Or the rocket launcher. And the only reason why I want the river blade is because I'm out of ammo for the other one. So... I'm kind of leaning toward the rocket launcher. I just don't know, though. Ah. Oh, boy, boy, boy. Because I don't want the cyber rifle. I don't really want the laser pistol. I already have a power fist. I already have a ripper. I guess we'll go with the rocket launcher then. Alright, let's check it out. Yeah, rocket launcher. How much damage does it do? 300 to 100 damage. Nice. Alright, and basically I'm going to be using that for like a, latch, a last ditch effort. Hell, I might even try to kill that gelatinous blob with it. Who knows? Okay. I actually want to see what the hell this is. Oh, these are the elders up here, I see. Okay, so I'll probably want to talk to the elders in a second. Um, what's going on? Hold on. Okay, uh, let me talk to what this guy. Uh, can I ask you some questions? Shoot. We you with the Brotherhood's history? What is the Brotherhood's main purpose? Our main goal is to survive. The scribes copy old plans for weapons or design new ones, and the knights make guns from them. Most guns come from us. Can I ask you another question? Yeah, fire away. Do you know anything about the Death Claw? No, oh, just another stupid rumor. Some people say it's a huge fang monster, and others say it's a vampire. It's not really a rumor, buddy. I actually had to fight one a little bit ago. Shoot. 
Uh, who are the elders? Well, you see, there's four of them. And that's about all they can ever agree on. They can't even agree if they want to piss. Much less pick a pot to piss in. All right, old up. man. I have work to do. So I can tell that you're sort of just here for the, uh... Uh, what do you call that? I forgot the word, but I know there's a specific word for it. It's like, he's just here for the color, I guess. He's just trying to add a little bit more, um... I guess... He's just trying to add a little more character to the story, I guess, or something like that. All right, so let's go and talk to the elders, because they're they're pretty much the only thing in here I haven't done yet, besides, um, you know, going through the lockers and whatnot. Do 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 do. I like how I'm just like pretty much just walking past these guys. They're not even questioning my uh, reason for doing any of this. All right, let's just talk to one of them. Greetings, Initiate. Uh, I need to speak with you. Emotions for you to come closer. About what? Uh, there's an urgent matter I need you to help me with. It's Maxon. We're pretty sure he's gone up the deep end, and he keeps uh, bobbling on about an army massing to the north. I'm not really... Oops. Uh, I'm not really willing to send our troops up there into something radiated areas unless I'm an absolute proof that the army exists. I need someone who is a friend of the old man, someone I can get an honest report from. Are you willing to check the northern region? Uh, I can do it. Uh, good. Go talk to Maxon if you haven't already. Report back to me when you've checked the northern territory. After that, uh, we'll decide what to do with Maxon. Wish me luck. Alright, so... Actually, I haven't checked my pit boy in a while. What the hell is my status? Um... Right. Okay, so there's not really too much going on. That's fine, whatever. Anyway, so... I think at this point I've got two options in terms of what I can do next. I think my two options are I can either go explore the territory to the north like they're asking me to do, or I can um, go... Do you remember um, back in the Blade place? Uh, they were talking about how they want me to go to the Gunrunners. So I think those are kind of my two options that I would like to do right now. And everything else uh, is kind of coming in at a close second. I still have no idea what the deal is with the water purifier, and I don't know um, where I'm going to get a chip from to fix it. So at this point, I'm pretty much just... Wandering. I'm a wanderer. I'm hoping that uh, my clan or my vault won't die of thirst. And if they do, then I'm oh, sorry. Well, what can I help you? Go ahead. Uh, well, some of the initiates think we're preparing for war. That's why hardly anyone gets in now. I was surprised when the High Elder told me to let you in. Uh, why? Well, uh, I don't know, but uh, I've heard the High Elder arguing with the other elders. Ask you some more Go questions. Ahead. Heard any good rumors? Well, some of the initiates think we're preparing. Go ahead. Uh, I greet people at the gates and decide okay. why do I let them in. Well, we have to get our food and other things. We trade our weapons for all that. Goodbye. He sort of looks like a walrus or like a seal. Anyway, so um, real quick, I just want to take a look at the map and um. I think that after we look at the map, I'm probably just going to end the video. So let's just go and do that real quick. Alright, so... Uh, it looks like we've discovered everything on the map except for this one place. So it's actually a pretty small looking game, I'm not going to lie. I mean, if, if quite literally I've just already discovered everywhere on the map... Mother's ordering soup. Cool. You know how to make soup? No. Do we have anything for soup? I don't know. I'm going to try something. All right. <clears throat> anyway, so I think I'm just going to end the video here, and I will catch you guys next time. Thank you for watching, and hopefully, you guys tune into the next episode. So, bye.